Hello everyone, this is Debbie Sherman and today I am sharing a project with you that I call Enjoy Every Moment and uh, it, sh it shares some different techniques with you. The bouquet technique is such a fun technique and so easy to do. There are several different ways to do this technique and today I'm going to show you how to use your watercolors and how to use your ink to make this uh, technique come through. Anyway, so let's get started with the supply list. We will need either a clipboard or some a hard surface that you can tape a piece of watercolor cardstock onto. And I used a piece of hot press watercolor card 140 pound and this piece is six inches by four and a half inches it uh, the hot press is a smooth surface so it makes it easier to stamp on then we are going to use a piece of black cardstock for matting six and a quarter by four and three quarters 65 pound our card base is just a piece of white cardstock and it's six and a half by five inches, and then it's doubled when you open it up. I have pre made card bases, so that's what I use. The stamps are Cardio Wise Words A6, Lavinia Fairy Fur Tree Large, Woodland Hairs Celestial Tree Large. We're also going to need Versafine Black Onyx Ink for our stamping and Cotton White Stays On. This will make the bo bouquet effect. You're going to need some Stress Disoxide Black Soot, Hickory Smoke, Pitch Flamingo. You'll also need some pink sequins, and these are totally optional. I just added them onto card for a little more sparkle. You're going to need a couple of stamp blocks. You can use both, you can use just one, it doesn't matter. But you've got a couple different sizes here you can choose from. As far as a brush goes, you're going to need a number 12 round brush. For gel pens, I use the Jelly Roll Star Dust Pen in clear, and I used a silver glitter pen. I also used a stencil brush. Sorry for the focusing. I also used a stencil brush for the edges of the card to brush the black soot on around the edge. You will need a bottle of water. Watercolor paints, whatever kind you like to use. These are just cheap ones. I didn't break out any good ones uh, for this card. And then a couple of sponge daubers. You'll need some tape, painter's tape, to tape down your card ba or card uh, stock, your water press, hot press watercolor card. And I got out a few chalks just in case. I feel like chalking a little bit. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do this technique. You'll also need a little bit of water in a container, clear water. And I'm going to show you how to do start this technique, but I've already got one finished so that we can move uh, this video along because if not, we will be here for a while watching the paint dry and you'll need dry paint to finish up the, the card. So what you want to do is you want to 
dip your dip your brush into the water and then we're going to wet the paper and you want it pretty wet this will help the the paint spread okay the next step is we're going to wet our paint so the way i do that is with a spray bottle and I just pick whatever colors I want to use and just spray them and give them a little bit of wet. Make them pretty wet so they'll pull in there a little bit and you can pick up some color. All right, so once you want a wet brush, pretty wet, and then you're going to pick up your color. And you're just going to drop it on and it'll spread by your set by itself if you're if you have enough water on your surface so just keep doing this until you get the whole surface uh, covered this is super easy technique the worst part is waiting for all this paint to dry And um, be careful with how you mix your colors because if you mix the wrong two colors together, you could end up with a muddy brown color. So get out a color wheel and check out complementary colors and see what works well together. I'm going to use oranges and pinks. Have a little too much water here, so I'm going to daub some of it up and then go back in and spread it around. Water watercolor is one of the easiest mediums there are to work, there is to work with, and it's just it's so much fun, and the effects you get are just as nice as if you used distress ink or any other kind of uh, inks to color a background. Okay, we are going to finish that up and we're gonna set it aside and let it dry. And we're gonna work on the dry panel that I made earlier. Okay, now I'm going to turn some music on and let you guys, well, I do all the stamping and so you can watch this technique without me talking too much. Here's my finished panel. I forgot to mention that you're going to need a circle template to draw uh, color in your circles.
Okay, so I am finished with my card now, and I wanted to show you an option for this card uh, to make the whole thing sparkle. So you can do this with, I used a Spectrum Noir pen. It's a clear glitter pen, but you can use a Wink of Stella pen. This is exactly the same as Wink of Stella, and um, it'll make, you can add all kinds of glittery sparkle to your card. It's very subtle, but it really makes it pop. So thanks for stopping by today and watching my video. Hope you give this technique a try, and we will see you again in the new year. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone. See you soon. Bye.